He said, I will restore to you the years that the canker worm and the plumber worm have eaten. My great army which I send among you. Today, God is restoring everything you have lost. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Make that amen touch heaven. In the fourth service, we focus on the recovery of your glory. Your glory is crucial to every restoration move that will take place in your life. Jesus said, Father, give me back the glory I once had with you. So if your glory is not restored, nothing will be restored. Glory is tied to goodness. Glory is tied to favor. Glory is tied to riches. Glory is tied to abundance. Everything about us is tied to the glory of God. And the lesser the glory, the lesser the blessing. In this second service, we are going to be focusing on the recovery of wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. In all thy getting, get what? The more wisdom you have, the more recovery you will see. You are going to pray. It is one thing to know it. It is another thing to do it. You are going to pray, Lord, in this service, whatever I have lost to foolishness, to carelessness, Lord, let there be restoration. Let there be recovery. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Whatever I have lost, let there be restoration. Let there be recovery. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Let there be recovery. In the name of Jesus. Let there be restoration. Let there be recovery. Let there be restoration. Let there be recovery. By your wisdom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say it amen. amen. In this service, God will increase you in wisdom. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it amen. amen. In this service, God will open up new chapters of wisdom for you. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the Redeemer of the Lord say so. Congratulations, please get seated. Please take your seat. Just like I said in the first service, we are changing levels, and you are changing level with me. You better say amen, Elio. How many had that sister's testimony? Joy, come. Joy, let them see you where. Are you afraid? The troubler of their family, God laid them to rest. Whoever vowed for you and your family, 
this same week we are entering, God will lay them to rest. Maybe you didn't hear well. Whoever vowed that your family will live in shame, this week God will lay them to rest. Go and see that. The testimony was double edged. The man was pooping and wee-wee. I was saying, come and carry your thing, come and carry your thing. They will surrender all to you. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Before we forget, how many of us have Gmail? Okay, oh, now you raise your hand though. I'm not begging you. So after third service, you will wait because my, my friend is here to give you my gift. You will transfer something into that your Gmail. In Jesus' name. Somebody is asking me, what is that? When you reach there, you will see it. <laughs> Praise God. Recovery of your wisdom Psalm 104 verse 24 Psalm 104 verse 24 Oh Lord how manifold are thy works in wisdom has thou made them all the earth is full of thy riches. Wisdom makes you fool. Foolishness empties you. Foolishness makes you dry. Foolishness makes you live without. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 19. The Lord by wisdom had founded the earth and by understanding had established the heavens. The heavens. Wisdom has the power to make and remake. Wisdom has the power to reshape. Wisdom has the power to rebrand. Wisdom has the power to recreate. Wisdom has the power to repackage. If your destiny must be recovered, you must be on a journey of wisdom. Psalm 82 and verse 5. Psalm 82 and verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Verse 6 now. I have said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. Verse 7. But you shall die like men. And fall like one of the princesses. Why? They know not. I wisdom cry it on the streets, calling them. But they will not hack it. Every restoration plan of God that was come to pass in our life will require wisdom. By wisdom he made it. And one of the major things Jesus died on the cross for us to be restored to his wisdom what is the lamb that was slain let's read that scripture revelation chapter chapter 5 i think verse 12 is it verse 12 okay revelation 5 verse 12 say with a loud voice what is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength 
and honor and glory and blessings. Now we have looked at glory. We are looking at wisdom now. In the third service we are going to look at what? Power. Now riches is connected to what? Wisdom. Wisdom says riches is in my hand. And I cause them that love me to inherit substance. If you don't love wisdom, you will be poor. Your generation will be poor. Your family will be poor. Yet, you are in the lineage of blessings. The blessing of God for our life flows with the increase of God's wisdom in our life. That's why wisdom is synonymous to the top, to plenty. Foolishness is synonymous to the floor, to lack, to reproach. Anytime you hear someone say that, uh, I don't know what else to do, it means that he has exhausted everything he knows. He doesn't know anything again. But you never get to a point in life where, where God does not know what next to do for your story to change. Never. Many suffer not because Satan is too strong, but because of their foolishness and ignorance. So every destiny that must be restored into full color, into fullness of God's blessings, must be built by wisdom. Proverbs 24 Take it from verse 3. True wisdom is a house builded. And by understanding it is what? Established. And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant what? Are you seeing it again now? So when you are wisdom deficient, your destiny suffer depredation. Not because you are deprived, but because you are ignorant. They know not. Papa said you are not born again to suffer again. Hear this? You may be saved and yet be suffering. So it is wisdom that guarantees quality life. Quality life. Jesus said, Whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, he said, Him shall be likened as a wise man that buildeth his house upon the rock. Whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, all the things you have been hearing, which one have you been applying? All the things you have been hearing, which one has made impact in your life? All the things you have been hearing, which one have you taken positive step to do? Doing what God commands, it's obedience. If you are not obedient, it is impossible for you to walk in divine wisdom. I tell you the truth. Whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. So the more you obey, the less you suffer. The more you obey, the less you suffer. Many want to pray more and obey less. They want to pray more and obey less. I've discovered what they, some people call prayer warriors. They are not really prayer warriors. They are disobedient people. Do you know why? They don't like paying their tithes. 
They don't like it paying, giving sacrifice. Go and check it. Some of those places that you call prayer house, poverty, they tie them rope. Serious poverty. They will prefer to pray. Poverty, I bind you. I bind you. You poverty attacking my family. I bind you. God will still say, pay your tithes. If they obey and serve me, they will spend their years in prosperity and their days in what? Pleasure. A pleasurable, a pleasure, pleasurable life is not only limited to prayer. It is tied to obedience. I remember my, my mom was telling me a story that uh, they are attending one church in Portaco. They, they, they pray, 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 pray. But when it comes to giving, everybody will frown their face. She now said that, uh, I don't think this is the place God wants me to be. I said, good for you, to stay there. She now said, I won't stay again. I'm, I'm following you people to win us. Some people will prefer to pray more and obey less. You are not working in wisdom. Scripture says concerning Jesus Christ, the power and what? The wisdom of God. If you must manifest power, you must also manifest what? Wisdom. Obedience is very demanding but most rewarding. Every time we talk about obedience, we are talking about wisdom. Papa said, wisdom is knowing what to do. And doing it. Knowing the step to take and taking it. Knowing where to go and going there. Knowing what to say and saying it. You can't walk in wisdom without being compliant to instructions. I will instruct thee with my eyes. And I will guide thee. Psalm 32 and verse 8. Psalm 32 and verse 8. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou should go. And I will guide thee with my what? Eyes. I will instruct thee. If you are above destruction, you have registered for destruction. If you are above correction, you have registered for frustration. There are some people you can't correct till Jesus come. Who are you to talk to me? You are born again, I'm born again. You speak in tongue, I speak in tongue. You are ordained, I'm ordained. You are increasing your frustration. God looks for our obedience before he listens to our prayers. Even in prayer, you are not the only one speaking. After you have finished talking, God will still talk. But you know the funniest thing? They will choose the one they will still obey. When the wisdom of God is at work in your life, you take calculated steps that will guarantee you outstanding results. Wisdom make you to get results cheaply. Why? You are doing what others can't do. And when you do what others can't do, you will get what others can't get. 
When you dare what others can't dare, you will get what others can't get. It's wisdom. When God's wisdom is at work in your life, you can create anything out of nothing. Good things will just be coming out. People will be wondering how are things working for him. Things are working for him because he's following wisdom. He's following wisdom. But I've discovered that wisdom does not jump on people. It doesn't jump on people. Everyone you see flowing in divine wisdom, that is what they did. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 1. Through desire, a man, having separated himself, Seek it and what? Intermingle it with what? All wisdom through desire. A man having separated himself. Foolish people will company with foolish people. As iron sharpens iron, so does a man sharpen the countenance of his friend. Who is sharpening you now or who is damaging you now? You are either growing in wisdom or you are boiling in foolishness. You can't miss the two. Either you are growing in wisdom now or you are increasing the bank of your foolishness. Psalm 1 and verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Verse 3, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall do what? Prosper. Who is cancelling you? Is it that the person is cancelling you or cancelling you? Jesus said, take heed to what you hear. Anything you are hearing from anybody, Leaves you with two implications. Either the person is increasing you in wisdom or is increasing you in foolishness. You can't miss the two. Either one is working and the other one is absent. So keep hearing, you know, it's your choice. You will be like the person you are hearing. If the person you are taking cancer from is an evil person, I want to let you know, if there is no witchcraft, you will replicate his evil. Why? He's imparting into you the evil tendencies. And without all contradiction, very soon you will be like the person. And you know, the more you walk in foolishness, the more losses you suffer. Yes, it is scriptural. You have suffered so many losses. You have lost time. You have lost opportunity. You have lost favor. Man, it is time to walk in wisdom. Because it is only wisdom that can guarantee your recovery. And they don't beg people to walk in wisdom. Why? Nobody has an influence on your choice. Your choice determines where you go, who you listen to. Thank God we live in an age where people claim they are smart and they are crafty. Are you crafty for me or you are crafty for yourself? Are you smart for me or you are smart for yourself? If you are smart, why is your life remaining the way it is? You can be crafty.
lucky and yet you damage your life the more. You can be smart and be smarting yourself out of blessings. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. The people we meet every day, we are either learning wisdom from them or increasing foolishness from them. Time is not on your side. Age is not on your side. For you to be looking for opportunity that will increase your stupidity. Your mates have left you behind. And you are still playing boyoyo and geyoyo. Who are you playing? <laughs> you are playing yourself, oh. Are you playing me? For where? Your destiny is not attached to my own. I'm going my way. Be fooling yourself. Be fooling, be fooling yourself out of blessing. You hear me? Walking in wisdom requires a conscious decision. Conscious decision. I love that Yoruba proverb that said, 20 children don't play for 20 years. Lie, lie. Before you know what's happening, they will be standing out differently. They will be standing out. When will you stand out? When will you stand out? Wisdom from above can be acquired. It's not a gift. Are you what I'm saying now? It's not a gift. Oh, this person has a gift of wisdom. No, you can acquire it. You can acquire it by craving for it. You yearn for it. You hunger for it. Joseph did not attend any special school. Are you hear what I'm saying now? He did not go to any school where they have departments of microbiology. But yet God gave him wisdom that will unlock his destiny. The destiny of Joseph was unlocked by the wisdom that is from above. That's why I say this. Every dream, every glorious future, we go with a particular wisdom. Unique. Unique. God gave him a wisdom that took him to his throne. Satan sought for all devices to get him trapped and destroyed. Household wickedness pursued him from his brothers. Let's do away with this dreamer. They didn't know they were pushing him into the fulfillment of his plan. The actualization of God's purpose for him. They threw him into the pit. From the pit was sold as a slave. Is that one progress? From being sold as a slave, he entered prison. From there, Portis one's wife came her own. <laughs> but one thing, he maintained the fear of the Lord. We maintain the fear of the Lord. When the fear of God is at work, everything will work. Everything will work. How shall I do this wicked thing and sin against God? And a wise man said, what Joseph ran away from is what many are running into. And that's why they will never get to where Joseph got to. What Joseph ran away from is what many are running into. And so they can never get to where Joseph got to. If you are still playing with iniquity, with fornication, with immorality, you are not, you are not a candidate for God's wisdom. You are a candidate for Satan's foolishness. Because Satan will still use you finish 
and not give you anything? Who has finished licking orange and put the remaining in the pocket? That's what the enemy will do to you. You lick it, finish, you put it inside your pocket. Is it a design? No way. And don't look for scripture to back up what you are doing. If we confess our sin, it's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Another scripture say, shall we continue in sin? That the grace of God may abound. So be looking for scripture if we confess. Now hear me, the more you sin, the more you die. Oh, T.L. Osborne said that every time we fall into sin, something dies in us. Do you know what dies? The wisdom of God. The creativity of the Spirit. Scripture says we have been made co-creators with God and heirs with Christ. So every time you are falling into sin, iniquity, immorality, fornication, something is dying. You are losing your wisdom. You are becoming more colo. Don't say my friend is doing it. If you do it because of your friend, <laughs> you are a photocopy. You are no original. Many are looking for promises to claim and not instruction to obey. I claim it. I prophesy. I receive it. But not to obey. If you must experience restoration, you must make a conscious decision to walk by instruction. It's your choice. Nobody can force you to walk in wisdom. Anything you are doing now, you made a choice for it. Did they drag you by the neck? Anything you are doing now, you made a choice for it. Papa said something recently this year that uh, as you grow old, there are some things you can correct some people from. You just allow them to be doing what they are doing. If you kill them, thank God. If he doesn't kill them, thank God. How much more people that are hearing God's word every day, every day, every day. Whatever you want to be recovered and be restored in your life, it is your choice to hunger for wisdom in that area. Look at what to do. Lord, what will you have me do? Lord, what will you have me do? There is no difficult situation that wisdom cannot handle. No one that scripture said that wisdom uproots mountain by the root. It has the power to upturn challenges. It will be cutting it down gradually. I remember one of our one servant of God said, there, is, there are many ways to kill a rat without letting blood spoil. Pour on the ground. Blood, blood cannot pour on the ground. There are many ways. Either you use a tapia pia, or you use rat gum, <laughs> or you use a chop and dry. Two of us. Uh, there are many ways. So there is no talent around you now. That, is, that cannot be dissolved by wisdom. And I gave my heart to seek and to search. To seek and to search. There is always a way out. And a wise man said, when there is a will, God will make a way. He will show you the way. There is a way out. There is a way out of that trouble. There is a way out to recover all that you lost. There is a way out of disappointment. 
there is a way out of failure. There is a way out from falling into trouble. There is a way out. And wisdom is the one that will show you the way. I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee in the way that thou shouldest go and make what? Profit. God does not lead us into trouble. He leads us into profit. Joseph was in Egypt, the center of civilization, but yet distinguished by God. I hope you know, civilization in the whole world started in Egypt. I hope you know, started in Egypt. But are they growing in wisdom? Oh. I read the story of the current president of um, Israel after the United Nations. He said, we were less than 100 soldiers. But today, we are number one world power by the wisdom of God. The best agriculture in the whole world is in Israel. The best military force in the whole world is in Israel. The best air force in the whole world is in Israel. Israel has the best scientists in Nasdaq, in airspace, anywhere you can think of. He said we are surrendered by enemies, but no one is a threat to us. Roundabout. In Israel, you can't be walking on the road and be making phone call anyhow. They are monitoring your phone. They are, their alertness is 24 hours. If you misbehave, they bring you down. When a temporary took place in 1986, that should be 1976, he said, we, we are reduced to nothing. But today, we have taken back our position as number one. If not Korea, like, let them make noise one million times. They can't dare Israel. That's what the wisdom of God can do in your life. Don't worry, I'll talk about it when we are talking about the power of the blessing another time. You will see what you have never seen before. So growing in wisdom, desiring God's wisdom, is your pathway to your recovery. Please, I beg you, check who you call your friend. Check who is speaking into your life. You are either increasing your pain, or you are increasing your gain. Our wisdom is not far. It's just near. The people around you. The people you hear always. The people you follow their instruction. The people you give heed to their counsel. They are either immune you to mumulity. Or they are increasing you in wisdom. Your mobility is increasing as a result of people you are hearing from daily, taking instruction from, or your wisdom is increasing daily from the people you are listening to. Concerning the disciples, scripture says, and they took note of them that they had been with Jesus. Who you be with determines whose wisdom we will see. When you begin to desire wisdom, there are things you will separate from. The <laughs> scripture says, through desire, a man having separated himself, secret and intermediate with all wisdom. Should I tell you this? Not everybody in church is going where you are going. Not everybody. What you will be the next five years will show in the people you are listening to, the people you are working with now. It will show. Let's give it time.
Just give it time. Don't need to struggle. But wisdom can't enter you and recovery not take place. It's impossible that divine wisdom enter you and you don't recover from poverty, from stagnation. Now lie. You will recover. I say you will recover. Even as a student, you will recover. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. When a student now discover that the people is working with their talkatives, there are people that are talking about boyfriend, girlfriend. They have opened your door for your failure. I hear what I'm saying now. I remember one of my brothers. He was in University of Port Harcourt, in the Department of Industrial Chemistry. There was a sister who was um, was supposed to do well. Now she was company with um, people that wanted to be free. Freedom is expensive. You are not really free. Yo. Are you wrong saying now? You are not really free. They wanted to be free. They wanted to live their life. So she followed those set of people. At the end of year one, her total GP was 1.16. Angel did not appear to her. No prophet laid hand on her. She cried her way to recovery. That <laughs> if I follow these people, I go live here with pass. She made up her mind. Second year, she bounced back. But she told herself before she came that she will make first class. She didn't even make two one. She only succeeded in making higher two two. You know two two is in level. Higher two two and lower two two. But she vowed a vow that no foolish person will assess her life again. It's your choice. Oh? Any choice you are making now goes with a consequence. If you are making a choice to work with foolish people, you will suffer more losses on the way. I say Quote me, I say so, and scripture guarantees it. You will suffer more shame on the way, more delay on the way, more regrets on the way, but you will be taking only foolish steps. Why? You are going somewhere with foolish people. Wise men, their actions are calculated. They watch their step before they make the move. I've not seen anyone on the path of recovery in life and destiny that companies with people that are not motivating them onto good works. Who is motivating you? Yeah, this Papa said it rightly. Any friend you have is either taking from you or adding to you. <laughs> it's either taking your good virtues, your good quality, <laughs> your good sound sense of judgment, your good sense of humor, or is taking it away and depositing carnality, foolishness, stupidity. All in the name of a, a class. Who does you class? Class of foolishness? For God to allow any restoration to take place financially, materially, maritally, Career-wise, in your life, you must register for the journey of wisdom. And the child grew and was strong in spirit. And the grace and the wisdom of God was with him. And the child grew. Grow in wisdom. As you are growing, you are recovering. As you are growing in wisdom, you are meeting more opportunities. The wisdom you have today will determine the opportunity you will meet tomorrow. As you are growing in wisdom, you are experiencing more possibilities. As you are growing in wisdom, new levels of success and progress will be taking place in your life. You are where you are today by the wisdom you had last year. If you will be where you will be in, in terms of where God has in mind for you, you need to increase in wisdom now. Make a plan to increase in wisdom now so that you can recover the fullness of everything life has in store for you. So if you are not increasing, you are in trouble. Big trouble. 
big time trouble. Anyone see you see playing, playing with wisdom, is playing with his life. He's playing with his life. Teach me to number my days aright, that I will apply my heart unto what? Wisdom. Wisdom. Wisdom is crucial to every recovery. Financial recovery, marital recovery. Now let me say this. One way wisdom will guarantee financial recovery for your life, it will introduce discipline. All of you now that are claiming, many of you now that are claiming that uh, I don't have money, I don't have, you, you are lying, you know. You are lying against God and you are lying against angels. Let me show you. Some people cannot eat without drinking Coke. Morning Coke, afternoon Coke, night Coke. Some people cannot eat without drinking malt. Are you seeing trouble? Some people, they have money, they are living a life of competition. This person has bought, so me too, I can buy it. I can buy it. If you can afford it, I can afford it. It's a sign that you are foolish. Scripture says, if we compare ourselves with ourselves, we are not what? Wise. You are not wise. You are not wise. So you are only taking foolish, foolish, foolish steps. Why? You are doing things because others are doing. No. We don't grow that way. We don't grow that way. Time will fail me to talk on some things now. But I will say, I will say them sometime. But let me just say this. Let me say this now. Whatever I desire and have pictured, wisdom tells me, prepare for it now. Start working it out now. Start working it out what? Now. If you say you will do it in the next two years, by that time you will be overweighed by challenges. You will have too many concerns, too many demands from people, in-laws, relations, friends. You may not have the time to do it again. Before you know what's happening, you are now regretting that you will have taken step long ago. Take the step now. Take the step now. Anything you fail to do today, and that you know that you can do, you have delayed destiny. You have shifted the future two years or three years ahead. Jesus said, I must walk the walk of him that sent me while it is day. For the night cometh when no man can walk. So in the morning, sow thy seed. If you sow in thy seed, requires wisdom. Requires wisdom. Some calculated steps that I took that looked foolish from the onset, but it's now paying off, and people that thought I was foolish, they are now the real fools. They are now the what? Proper what? Fool. Why? When I was doing it, they were mocking me. They were mocking me. One of the gifts that I've told you to come and collect now, I took a foolish step to buy, I was the first that bought TBC in the whole, in the whole of Nigeria. In fact, the whole of Africa. I bought it with 100 euro. And then euro was, um, 100 euro was around 30, 38,600. And it gave me 100,000 units. But you can't buy one unit now, even with your 100 euro. I was a fool now. Huh? I no guess sense. But when jungle mature, who no know? That's wisdom. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Huh? They called me fool. I like to take the step that will bring mockery, but later glory. Then to take the step where everybody is clapping for you. You hear me? If everybody is clapping for you, you are in trouble. Wisdom. A wise man can see tomorrow and take step now. The foolish man said, no, let, tomorrow we take care of yourself. Now lie. The tomorrow that we take care of the itself is the things you are doing now. Don't tell me that tomorrow we take care of yourself. Who, who, who told you that one? 
The tomorrow that will take care of itself is what you are doing now. So don't deceive yourself. They have played you too much. Now let your head come back. Rise up to your feet. The prodigal son, anyone that is not working in wisdom is a prodigal son. Anyone that is not working in wisdom is a squanderer. The prodigal son collected and went to squander. And you know, if you are not wise, you don't get respect to. I'm telling you the truth. But after he saw his foolishness, he said, I will arise and go back to my father. I know he will have mercy on me. In fact, let him take me as one of the slaves. I will arise and go back to my father. I've been walking in foolishness. Scripture said, as he gave them communion, their eyes were open. You are going to pray. Lord, all the wasted years that I have lost, to carelessness, to foolishness, to taking wrong step. As I partake of this communion, open my eyes. Open my eyes to know the things I need to do that will move my life forward, that will make me regain and recover my destiny, my true color, that will make me regain and recover my beauty, my honor, my dignity. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lord, as I partake of this communion, Open my eyes to my restoration, to my recovery. To my restoration, to my recovery. Open my eyes to my restoration, to my recovery. To the things that I need to do for my life to take shape back. For my destiny to regain motion. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your voice, pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. If you mean it, heaven will hear you. If you mean it, God will show you mercy. Lord, help me. Help my destiny to be recovered. Help my destiny to be recovered. As I partake of this communion, open my eyes to see steps that I need to take. Baptize me with ideas on what I need to do for my recovery. For my recovery. Nakekuka Sharon Tikaleta Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Foolish men make a mockery to salvation. But scripture says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto what? Salvation. Accepting Jesus Christ is wisdom. Why? Because Satan has gambled enough with your life. And he's still gambling. In fact, he's even telling someone now, don't, uh, don't mind him or he wants you to come out. Hear me? It is either you disgrace the devil or he will continue to disgrace you. The way he will continue to disgrace you is by keeping you bound. By not taking a decision that will move your life forward. But if you want to accept Jesus Christ, as your Lord, as your Savior, wherever you are, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. If you pray that prayer with me wherever you are, put your hands together for Jesus. Come right now. I want to pray with you. Come. Come, come. Just come, God bless you. Come, God bless you. God bless you. Take that step right now, inside and outside. Come quickly. This is one of the wisest decisions 
you can never make in your life put your hands together for jesus this is one of the wisest decisions you can ever make put your hands together for jesus only wise men make this kind of decision if you are coming put those hands together for jesus for them god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you put those hands together for jesus It's one of the best decisions, the wisest decision you can ever make. Hear this? Who you follow determines who makes you. Who you follow determines who makes you. And Jesus said, follow me, and I will make you. Then I'm not regretting, I'm rejoicing. I pray for you. Father, unto them that come unto you, shall you know why cast out. They've accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and as their Savior. As this oil come upon you, every guilt, every accusation, every condemnation from the pit of hell, by forces of wickedness by the anointing of the holy ghost the yoke is broken now if you are saying amen say better amen. amen whatever legal hold the enemy had over you by the blood of jesus christ that speaketh redemption that hold is destroyed in the name of jesus from today you will live a life of color a life of beauty a life full of blessings if you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. It shall be well with you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Put those hands together for Jesus. Please turn, follow this man right now. You will join us as we take the communion. Turn and follow this man right now. communion the wisdom that is from above will begin to speak in every area of your life make that amen louder if you are saying amen say better amen paul said when i want to do good the good i want to do i do not the evil i don't want to do he say i find myself doing he said who shall deliver me from this flesh you are going to lift up your voice and pray any power manipulating me into foolishness taking wrong step lord by this communion break the spell in the name of jesus christ let there be an impartation of divine wisdom that will guarantee fruitful results quality progress lift up your voice and pray any power manipulating me into taking foolish steps lord deliver me deliver me deliver me let the yoke be broken let the seeds be broken. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. It is done. This is the flesh and the blood of Jesus. As you partake of it, the power of God, the wisdom of God, rests upon you in Jesus' name. 